Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Welcome to the tutorial of lens and uh, this video is the part of the series of videos of refraction of lens and in my previous video I explained uh, continuously based on the topic of refraction of light and this is the tutorial that will be started from the concept and the introduction of lens. And the next video I shall be uploading the ray diagram and the rule of six and the image formations uh, regarding lens. So what is the definition of lens? If we ask for that, that we can see shortly that the lens is a portion of transparent medium. This is a portion of a transparent medium bounded by two or even, even I can say that bounded by the spherical surfaces. So what is exactly the lens is? So we can say that lens is a part of two sphere. So if you see that uh, I'm drawing it with my own hand, it might not be actually really, really uh, spherical. Suppose this. So if these two spheres join together and you know that this portion which is created with the combinations of two different spheres and if it is act as a transparent medium then something I mean the ray infractions will happen here and this portion is known as the um, uh, the lens and think about the other part that in this case if I see that there is another another sphere which is drawn here Think about it if this part is taken this part is taken and if this part is also taken then two types of lens will be created two types of lens will be created see here this is the center of the curvature this is the center of the curvature and this is the center of curvature if I join together then I will find the principal axis see if I join together then I will have, though it's not actually, I don't know, okay. So, you see, from this corner, and from this corner, I will have another. So, I'm just making it clear that this lens is biconvex lens, and this lens is a biconcave lens. So, I'm not attaching with this, but if I draw, a line that will be like this so this is both so this will be just lead with that but for making it a separate I'm giving you a separate idea so if I rub the other parts then it will be a lens in case of convex and in case of concave lens so we got two type of lens here okay though the center of curvature of this is here so we can say in other part that this is actually the center of curvature we just imagine so now we can see this is a bi convex lens and this is bi concave lens so the types of lens we can say number one that is bi convex that we can see or converging lens so we can say this is converging lens and number two is biconcave or we can say diverging why it's called diverging and why it's called converging so I'm coming up with, the, with this definition which is essential to understand properly so you see this is C1 and C2 so this C2 is also C1 for this lens, though I'm just making it separate. Think about C1 and C2. So in both cases, we have two center of curvature. So when we joined this center of curvature, we got a line which is actually principal axis of that lens. So what is lens? We can say that lens is a portion of transparent medium bounded by the spherical surface as the refractive part of it is spherical is convex that is why this is biconvex so light can enter in this way or in this way also in this case also light can enter either this way or in this way 
so it is actually a refractive medium so now you see there is a center which is called the optical center what is optical center so if we join together we'll have an optical center how we can think about it the optical center is that point where the incident ray and the emergent ray are parallel see see these things very clearly so suppose a line is coming from this away and then there is a slight change will take place inside the lens and then and then another emergent ray will fall down so this is the principle this is the optical center you see there is a, a little bit changes happens in the direction of the light so this is uh, this is the incident ray this is the emergent ray so through this point when it was passing the incident and emergent ray are parallel similarly here is also so if i draw uh, the a perpendicular based on uh, the principal axis we will have the optical center also how come suppose a line is coming from this way from this way and you see the, the figure of optical center would be like this suppose this way and there will be a little bit changes happens during this and this would be the emergent ray you see the changes happens here because light was coming through air and entering into a glass or, or the rest so that's why some refractions will take place so this is the point where light was passing through and the incident ray and the emergent ray was parallel so this is the, pre the optical center and these lines i mean the joining lines between the center of curvature is the principal axis so we got two definitions what is principal focus understand this one okay in case of understanding the principal focus we need to know that if two parallel ray coming into the lens after after refractions they will join up they will join a point in the principal axis and this point is known as the principal focus in case of con concave lens when a parallel ray to the principal axis will, will actually incident in the lens then they will be diverging they will appear to be diverging from the principal focus so in case of convex lens the principal focus will appear principal focus will form in the other side of the principal axis but in case of concave lens the principal focus will form in that side where light was coming so that is why the sign convention will happen we'll think about in the later when we'll discuss about the power of lens so this is the parallel line to the principal axis and when it was refracted they, f they converged into a point in the principal axis this point is known as principal focus and the distance from the optical center to the principal focus that is the focal length and here also this this length is considered in the in the reverse sections so that is why when we think about the sign convention we must know that in case of biconvex lens it is plus and in case of concave lens this is minus so we know what is principal focus and focal length and if an imaginary line which is perpendicular to the principal axis in the principal focus that plane is known as focal plane so if we imagine a perpendicular line on the principal axis that is known as the focal plane 
So I was just explaining a simple introduction regarding lens because you know that there are a lot of mathematics that we need to solve in the next class for that we need to understand the concept clearly those who already studied about the reflection of light and the refraction of light this is the applications of the refraction of light because lens is widely used like spectacles in the spectacles there are lens that is a, a visual aid for humans and which is widely used in the worldwide so that is why uh, the lens is actually uh, giving us aid when we see. So what is convex lens and what is concave lens? Where the mid side is like wider and here the mid side is like narrower. So you know that the both side is convex that is why this is biconvex and this is biconcave. So this is a very simple introduction. We know the definition, we know the types, we know some uh, basic uh, definitions like what is principal axis, what is optical center, what is principal focus, what is focal length, and what is focal plane. So I hope you understand this is, this is the very basic and primary level discussion. So let's, in the next video, I'm coming up with the power of lens and the sign convention. Take care, stay well.